New dragon type Pokemon. Oh boy, it's something new to lose the fairy. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Cardinal. Last time was quite intense as we attempted to stop long. Team Tundra from stealing a generator from the Norklo <laughs> power plant, the all the while learning on. from their leader <laughs> Cronus about their Timing. true plan to freeze the entire region. We also learned that Eris, Norklo's champion, is Cronus' younger brother, who came to dun, help dun, us dun. stop Team Tundra, but alas, they were able to escape with the generator anyway. That leaves us here today, needing to get back on the road of our gym challenge and continue earning the remaining badges. To get, get to the next eventually. gym, we need to head back to Oranak City and then go south from there. So let's not waste any more time and get right to it. Well, it was quite a trip from the power plant, but we made it. Whew, Route 12 is another wooded area to the south of Oranak City. For a As pace. such, we'll see many familiar Pokemon that we've seen surrounding Oranak before, including Sporito, Treetrup, Borobizu, Puppuff, Floofeave, Flamero, Pheasantry, and Shuckle. Unfortunately, nothing we haven't seen before, but we might be meeting some new Pokemon after all, as it looks like more of our Pokemon are evolving. Hmm. Let's check it out. Oh. Some new Pokemon, I think. I don't remember, honestly. It's been a while. Ew. He walks with this beard? Ugh. He went from a toupee to a beard. Wow, it looks like your Floofeev has evolved. This is Q-Flu, the fluffy Pokemon. It this evolves from Floofeev at level 30. They have gone from shy and timid as Floofeev to almost hermit-like as Q-Flu. Oh joy, it's Roshi. Since humans avoid them so much yeah, thanks really. to their sickness-inducing odor, they have resigned themselves to a life of solitude. Good, get away Since from me. Since they've lost the desire to interact with others, you don't see them out in the open much, but you can easily smell the rancid odor they emit if one is nearby. Mm. Lovely. Hmm. This cutie. Okay, this thing looks cool. I like the uh, new snowman thing on its back and tail. Now its eyes are like glowing. Congratulations! Wintrote has now evolved into its final form. This is Stotrees, oh, the four. winter Pokemon. Like two. It evolves from Wintrote at level 40. These Pokemon have mastered the art of winter camouflage and use it to their advantage to strike down their enemies. If you find yourself walking down a snowy path and it seems a little too quiet, a Stotrees is probably nearby, Great. watching you in silence. Oh, we just got this one a couple of episodes ago. <laughs> one form is holding in, but this one's laying it out. <laughs> I like the scarf. It's a nice touch. Congrats! Your Puff has evolved into Wolo. Wolo is the wolf Pokemon and evolves from Puff at level 25. Fairy type. They are starting to get the hang of their mysterious floating abilities and use air exhaled from their lungs to push themselves around. Despite not being a very efficient way to travel, they seem to prefer being in the air and you'll rarely see one on the ground. Mm. It, it always feels good to add some newly evolved Pokemon to your team, doesn't it? I mean, I'm not well, going to add any to my team, but sure. Well, we might be able to add some more to our team soon, because while traveling down Route 12, you're sure to run into the Safari Zone. The Safari Zone is an environmental park designed to both protect nature and Pokemon alike. 
as a preserve, it contains many rare Pokemon that you won't find Never outside the park, but, but are allowed time. to be caught for a fee in order to continue funding conservation efforts. It isn't somewhere we have to go, but would you like to take a look and see what kinds of Pokemon we can find? Sure. Awesome. Well, let's head over Here we can there catch like 60 Tauros. Find some rare Pokemon. The Safari Zone is truly one of the most unique places in all of Norklo. Not really. It's a haven for so many different Pokemon species, and plays host to the widest variety of Pokemon you will find in any Same one place, place in the whole People region. trying to catch you? It sprawls a very zone. large amount of space, allowing you to find a majority of Norklo's Pokemon in just this area alone, including a couple we haven't seen before. This is the new dragon. This is Raikonid, the samurai Pokemon. Ooh, it's kind of Raikonid is a very rare Norco Pokemon that is a sign start, of skill for dragon, any trainer who manages so. to catch one. They tend to be pretty Got strong Moxie. for their age and often don't hesitate to battle with Pokemon who are much bigger than they are. It's either one of the Gen rarer 7. Pokemon in the Safari Zone, let alone Norklo, so if you're lucky enough to find one, you should probably take advantage of the opportunity and catch or it. Or is it Komo o hmm. This is Gramgen, the loving Pokemon. An evolutionary cousin of Alola's Drampa, oh, Ramgen is an extremely caring Pokemon who will be there for whoever needs it. It prefers not to fight and instead it's wearing slippers. help its fellow Pokemon. However, if that means defending them, it has an enormous amount of strength at its disposal mm -hmm. that it's not afraid to use if it needs to. So as you can see, the Safari Zone offers some very interesting and rare Pokemon that are absolutely worth the extra time it oh, takes cool. to track them down. Of course, probably the and ones you've run into before. And speaking of things that take time to track down, if you look extra hard, you'll also be able to find another Mega Stone here. Ooh. More specifically, a Breloomite, Ooh, which Breloom. will allow you to Mega Evolve Breloom into Mega Breloom if you have Jeez, one. This thing As has nice. been mentioned before, Mega Evolution is scarce in the Norklo region, Clearly. so it's best to take advantage of it when you can, mm. and Mega Breloom would certainly be an excellent addition to anybody's team. Indeed. I say, what are a couple of children such as yourselves doing all the way out here? The back The Safari Zone is a wilderness, you know. A glorious, untapped oasis of environmental discovery. A place where countless discoveries are just waiting to be made. I'm waiting. Oh, oh, excuse me, how very brash of me. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Lutz, and I am a pokey paleontologist. I came out here to do some oh, research oh. and hopefully make some prehistoric discoveries. But as they say, you can't uncover the secrets of the past every day. You know, no, whoever said that was a bloody dumb. I'd like to give them a piece of my mind. <laughs> uh, excuse me. How positively dreadful of me going on and on like that. I do apologize. Sometimes I just get a little ahead of myself. You're fine, bro. I was about to say that in addition to my research, I also lead the gym in Otorawa City. Really? Since you two blokes look like trainers, maybe you ought to come take a crack at me. Ha <laughs> ha! Get the whip. I should warn you, though. My battling skills are about as refined as my dashing good looks. So don't Not say very. I didn't warn you if you do decide to show up. Oh, look at the you time. Got... Oh, wait, I no, really must be going Marco. now. It was lovely to talk to you, though. Hopefully we'll meet again soon. Ta-ra! Well, he was quite a character, wasn't mm -hmm. he? And he just so happens to be the next gym leader we need to face as well. So talk about a chance encounter. Seriously. He said his gyms in Atorawa City, which is the next city we're currently heading to. So if we've got our fill of catching Pokemon here in the Safari Zone, we might as well head to the gym in Atorawa and see how they do in battle. Hey, sir, not very good. Uh -huh. Bitcher cold, bitcher cold. 
Welcome to Atorawa City! In addition to being the home of the next gym in our gym challenge, Atorawa City is also the capital city of the Norklo region. It truly is a sprawling metropolis and a hub for all things hustle and bustle. If Pokemon Cardinal were an actual game, you'd be able to explore homes, buildings, shops, and other attractions comparable to other capital cities in the Pokemon world, like Lumio City and Castelia City. Nice. Unfortunately, due to the format we're working with, we won't really be able to explore that side of it, but we've still got the gym to look forward to, and it's sure to be an exciting one, so without further ado, let's go check it out. Let's go to the game. The paleontology. That's right, the guy did say he was the gym leader. I say, you kids sure are peppy, aren't you? I didn't expect to see you over here so quickly. I am a gentleman, though, so of course I will oblige. Well, Welcome to the Atorawa Gym. Got some here my work as a paleontologist no, blends with my love of Pokemon battles. And as such, we specialize in the know. rock type here. Rock type Pokemon are as solid rock as can type be. Pokemon so late and in as the game. far as That's I'm concerned, rare. they leave every other Pokemon type in the dust. Are you sure you little chaps are ready to face something like that? No. Hey, good show then. Get ready to be crushed by the terrible <laughs> might of my amazing rock types. <laughs> if Pun was bad and you should feel bad. Let's start off slow then, shall we? Go, Boboa! Mm. Gah! I say, maybe I underestimated you. I'm not even close to done yet, though. Serapent. Go, Serapent! I wrote that thing. You're both former Boa Boa. Now I'm starting to see Bo -bo why you rushed right over whatever. here. This is where things start to get serious, however. Let's see if you can take on my prehistoric Pokemon. Oh boy. Go, Fangray! Looks like Lawrence has got some fossil Pokemon at his disposal. Naturally. This is Fangray, the big tooth Pokemon and the evolved form of Grey Nine. Evolving from, the from Grey Nine at level 40, take. these Pokemon were apex predators of their time before eventually dying out due to changes in their environment. Mm. Their strength is said to be on par or greater than any other fossil Pokemon currently discovered, making them kings of the prehistoric age. Eesh. In the modern day, though, they have the normal rock typing thanks to the fossil restoration process, and this makes them four times weak to fighting type attacks. Mm. So if you've got any of those to use, you should be able to take care of Fangray handily. <laughs> well, take a look at you two. You Muppets really know what you're doing, Call don't you? Muppet? Well, it's time for you to meet my strongest Pokemon. Go, Mortisaur! Mortisaur. Oh my! This is Mortisaur, ghost the rock. Reaper Pokemon and the evolved form of Scythosaur. The one I mocked It also earlier. evolves from Scythosaur at level 40 and was the bane of almost every Pokemon's existence in its heyday. Mm. It shows no mercy towards others. It's in your best interest to stay clear of this Pokemon, because if you attract its attention and it decides to attack, there is almost assuredly going to be no escape. Thanks to its ghost type, it completely negates the fighting type you might have been relying on to this point, so you'll have to take it and out the by rock typing will negate It certainly the dark won't be typing. easy, but if you have any water or grass types on your team, you might be able to pull out the victory. Mm. Ha <laughs> ha Good show, children. Good show. I suppose my battling skills must be getting a bit dusty, because you lot did a clean sweep of my team, no problem. Yeah, we didn't You two move really on. are something. Here, take the fossil badge. You've earned it. I like looks like a Kabuto. Now, you might have earned that badge fair and square, but don't go thinking you're the Skitty's pajamas. <laughs> there are two gym leaders left for you to face after me. 
And they're going to cause quite a lot of trouble for you if you take them lightly. Naturally. I suggest you train as much as you can if you want a chance of beating them. I wish the best of luck to you, though. May you become Norclo's newest champion. Well, okay then. Nice.